Hi and welcome to Waves. We have some shipyard news making waves today. Estonia's Loxa shipyard, formerly part of the Odinese Steel Shipyard Group, announced a 525 job cuts last week. Staggered from February to April, including all but two of the board members. The company indicated it would like to rehire the workers, but with no orders in the second quarter of 2009, this seems unlikely at this time. The yard specializes in the manufacture of hash covers and non-curved steel blocks. Moving on, Korean shipyards continue to weather a prolonged impact of the global economic recession despite incipient signs of an end of the global financial meltdown. According to the Yonhap news agency, global demand for new vessels will take time to appear. There have been a lot of orders in the past few years and local shipbuilders enjoyed a heyday. But given the current situation, it is difficult to say when the demands will improve, said Chung Dong Leek, an analyst of the high investments and securities. One of China's two leading state-owned shipbuilders, China Shipbuilding Industry Corporation CSIC, and said on Sunday that its profit in 2009 jumped 18.5% to 7.39 billion yuan, that's 1.1 billion US dollars. The Beijing-based conglomerate, which comprises nearly 50 industrial subsidiaries and about 30 R&D institutes in northern China, also said its operating income rose 17% to 2000, in 2009 to 120.9 billion yuan. General Manager Li Xuan said CSIC has overcome the impact of the global financial crisis, which crippled global sea-based trade and bought down ship orders. That's all of the news-making waves as of now. Stay tuned for more. Till then, it's goodbye from the studios.